In this video, I'm going to show you how you can brighten videos in Premiere Pro. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and freelancing tips, so please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can brighten videos in Premiere. So I have a video here of a kind of creepy alleyway with some lights flickering on and off. And this footage is sort of dark, so I want to see if I can brighten it up in some way. There's a few ways to do this in Premiere, so I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way first. If I go down to my effects panel and type in brightness, an effect called brightness and contrast should come up. I'll just drag and drop this onto my clip, then I'll head over to the effects control panel, and there should be an option to adjust the brightness levels by increasing the number to allow more light or decreasing the number to darken the video. And I can do the exact same thing for the contrast. So I can play around with each of these settings until I get the right look that I want, and it's pretty much that simple. But there is another way that I usually prefer to use because I just like the way that it's set up better in Premiere. It's an older effect, and it's listed as an obsolete effect, but if I go back to my effects panel, and this time type in RGB curves, an effect by the same name should come up. Again, I'll drag and drop this onto my clip, and then heading back over to the effects control panel, I'll go over to the brightness and contrast effect that I had applied earlier, and I can hide this effect by clicking on the letters FX next to the panel. When I do that, I can actually turn on and off the effect, but I'm going to leave it off for right now. Below that should be the RGB curves effect that I just applied to this clip. And I like this effect a lot because it's very similar to a curves adjustment layer that you see in Photoshop, if you're familiar with that. Basically, I can create points on this diagonal line and then move them up or down to adjust the brightness. For me, I think this gives me a better way to really fine tune the brightness and contrast rather than just typing in a set number. So the next thing I want to show you is, let's say that I want to brighten up a specific part of the video. For example, I want to make this green light at the end of the alleyway a little brighter. Well, if I go back to my effects panel and type in lighting effects, an option for that should come up. I'll drag and drop that onto my clip. And just like before, I'll make sure that all my previous effects that I'd added are turned off. And that's just so that you can better see how this effect changes the video. In the lighting effects panel, I'm going to select the light one option. From there, the first option should be to select the light type, and I'm going to choose Omni. And I chose that because the other options would either spread out the light too much or too little. For the light color, I'm going to keep it as white because I think it looks pretty natural within the scene. But if I wanted to, I could make it a different color by clicking on the white box and choosing another color. Next, I can adjust where the light is centered in the video, and that's just so that I can make sure that it looks like it's coming from the green light and not from some other point. After that, I can adjust the radius, which will determine how large the light will be in the video. And then really, the last thing I need to do is go down to the ambient light color, an ambient light is not the actual color itself, but the light that you see reflected off of other surfaces, like the walls or the street. So I want the ambient light to match the green light at the end of the alley. And to do that, I'll use the eyedropper to select the green color of the light, and now the ambient light within my scene should match the green light. So if I turn this effect on and off, you'll see the difference that it makes in lighting up or brightening the video, and it naturally enhances the street light. So that's how you can brighten videos in Premiere Pro. What other kind of brightness or contrast issues are you having? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com and also check out my other tutorial videos which I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.